Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. I found it on Pinterest again. Um, this one is a stuffed taco, stuffed taco stuffed shells. Uh, my dad always made stuffed shells when I was a kid and I loved it, but he always made the traditional ones with the ricotta cheese and stuff. So I'm kind of excited to try this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't think this is going to be a fail. I think if anything, it's going to just need a little bit of extra flavoring, which you can always spice up in your own kitchen. So the first things first, um, you've got to boil your noodles. So I'm going to get that going. Um, I just have some jumbo noodles to put in there once that water's going. And then I have some lean beef um, because I am watching what I eat. So I always get lean. Um, so I'm just going to heat this up. You just got to brown it and then you go ahead and um, get rid of the fat by draining it. Uh, okay, cool. So, make sure I have a good spatula ready to go. I always like to break it up. Let's go ahead and put a lid on it so it goes just a tad faster. Where's that? Okay. So I'm going to come back to y'all as soon as this water's boiling and I can put those jumbo noodles in there and as soon as this browns a little bit because I think it's going to take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and strain this guy, I think. There's not really a lot to strain because, again, I told you I like to use lean beef. I like to use anything lean if I'm going to um, have a protein, typically. So, I think we're probably about good because it's still going to cook with some water and some taco seasoning. So, I'm going to go ahead and strain this. Alright, so from here, what's going to happen next is... We drain the fat, we're going to add the taco seasoning and the water. So, let me get a spoon. It just calls for two third cups of water. This is just water. Um, oh no! Okay, that's fine. All right, we got two third cups of water. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this in here. I don't like to stir it with the meat because um, that just, certain meat gets flavored better than others. So I like to make it a sauce before I put it in. I actually think that's probably what it says to do. Yeah, stir in water. Alright, cool. So now we're going to cook this in the taco seasoning until all the water is gone. my spoon. Well, my spatula. Alright, let's stir this in. Alright, now our pasta over here is ready to get put in, so I'm going to do that as well. This needs to be on medium heat. Cool, so that's good. So let's put our taco cells, our taco stuff shells in. We really only need 12, but oh, she said 12 ounces. All right, so those are in. Do I have another wooden spoon? I do. Of course, I have another wooden spoon. All right, so let's let that go. 
We're going to boil these for a while. This gets boiled for nine minutes. Which is probably about the amount of time that's going to need. So, cool. Alright, I spilt my water all over my little sheet. Um, so from there, after that's cooked and ready to go, after this is cooked and ready to go, then I stir in some salsa into this, and then I top it with some cheese, and then we put that inside those shells, and then we actually bake it. So let's go ahead and start preheating that oven. I'm going to go ahead and let me stir this real quick. You know the one thing that sucks about making these videos is that I can't listen to any music because of copyright reasons. But like literally my entire life revolves around listening to music all day long. So, kind of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and get my pasta. I'm going to use the same thing. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and get my um, salsa divided. So it calls for a cup and a half of salsa, and I don't know that there is a cup and a half in here. I'm just trying to use up my stuff in my fridge. I'm fairly certain I have the same brand as well. Yeah, I need it more than that. I need it twice the amount of that. I have the same brand because that's my favorite salsa. I like vegetable chunks in my salsa. All right, so I need a cup and a half of this. I'm sure this cooking is a lot more interesting for y'all since there's so much more going on. Okay, cool. So that's good. We got the salsa ready. I'm going to need some cheese. I'm going to need a cup of cheese. I didn't really go buy like extra stuff just for these recipes because I'm always um cuz I always have so much cheese and Corey always makes fun of me about it. So, I didn't buy any extra cheese. So, we're going to have to mix two different cheeses. Actually, I probably have more cheese in the freezer. I have creamy Mexican in the freezer. So I'm gonna put this one back. All right, cool. So we are boiling. This is going good. We still got quite a bit of water in here doing a good job at getting out though so I appreciate that um, yeah then we just put the sauce just put the cheeses and stuff in here so it calls for three-fourths cup of cheese so that should be ten ounces no that should not be ten ounces that should be six ounces one. I'm really excited for this. I actually think this is going to be really delicious. I'm going to give this just another minute or so. We're just waiting for this to be done. Anytime I'm cooking, I'm usually cleaning as I go. I don't like to leave messes. I'm 
All right, so all we have left are these guys. Um, I'm gonna get a baking sheet out. It doesn't say. Let's bake in a covered pan. Let's use some pan to spray. These guys are starting to look pretty good. All right, baking sheet's good. Everything's ready to go. Literally just waiting for this to, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that's good. I'm gonna call that. So let's go ahead and get this going. It says they're doing both at the same time, so that's what we're gonna do. There's a little bit of water for me cleaning it. This is going to be delicious. There was a whole thing of cheese right there. All right, guys, I'm stoked for this. So this guy can go off. I literally just need to wait for, um, for my noodles to be done. What's my timer at? 40 seconds. Okay, cool. Does it say to do it like al dente or anything? Okay, yes. So we're good. So this guy's going to go off in a second or two. Or nine. Okay, cool. So I'm going to drain this real quick and then I'll be right back with it. All right, so here we go. Oof. Probably should just make the rest of this because there's plenty. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are ready to go. Whoop, almost made a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, I think. They go in for 15 minutes. supposed to top it with some extra cheese. That's okay. We'll put these in the oven too. Those have only been in the oven for a few minutes. I wonder if this even tastes good. Yeah, it tastes like tacos. Ooh, was almost attached. Now you're supposed to put the remaining salsa and cheese over top of the jumbo shells, but technically I didn't have any remaining sauce um, because I actually threw out some jumbo shells. So let's see what this guy looks like. It's definitely not very saucy. And uh, we'll have to see what they taste like. I wonder, let me get a plate. Let's see, I'm gonna go for this guy. He looks good. Perfect. So, so far he looks good. I mean, I don't think it'll be bad. I think it'll just be kind of like taco with in pasta, which I don't think I've ever had. 
This has been out for maybe three or four minutes, by the way. Um, I had to wait for the other pan to come out, too. That's pretty good. I could definitely tear this up. Yeah. That's delicious. And it's honestly just the right amount of sauce for me. If you're a saucy type person, um, you might want some more. But I kind of like overstuffed these guys, which is probably where I should have had the extra. But I'm a fan. Looks like I got another Pinterest win. <laughs> Y'all are killing me with these Pinterest. Um, but anyway, super good, super delicious. I think my husband will love this. Um, and it'll probably be a staple because it really wasn't that hard. Um, and we make tacos all the time anyway, so why not put it in a shell form? Um, but yeah, super good, super delicious. Um, coming up, I should have some Halloween type themes. I'd like to go with the month of October and have some nice little Halloween things. I also haven't decided for sure yet if I'm going to do a video on making my Halloween costume because I picked a pretty unique one and I think you guys would think it's fun. Um, those who know me know that I enjoy fun. I don't really feel like, um, I'm not worried what anybody thinks. So if I show up in this costume, I'm not really worried about what people will think. I think it'll give us some laughs. Um, so if you guys want to, you guys can guess um, in the comment section about what you guys think I'm gonna be. Um, and then we'll see. The only hint I will give is it is a Disney character. Yes. So, which I usually don't do Disney. I'm not a huge fan of Disney because I don't have any kids. Um, I'll watch it if it's on, but I'm not, I don't go to Disney or anything like that. So, even though it's only about 45 minutes for me. But anyways, if you want to give it a guess, I'm not going to tell you, and I haven't for certain figured out if I want to release this video or not about it so we'll see but anyways this taco stuffed shells was delicious definitely a win hit me up if you want the recipe I did find it on Pinterest so I'm sure you can too it was by dinner and dessert dinner the dessert um so whoever this was did a great job at figuring out a cool recipe definitely hit like hit subscribe if you want to see more and definitely subscribe if you want to see my halloween costume because it's going to be a ton of fun all this stuff came in except for one thing so and that's supposed to be here today so it should be pretty cool thanks guys bye